Time for a quick video on the reactor. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian. I'm coming at you today to show you what I'm going to use as far as a media reactor in the 125 gallon reef. Uh, so welcome to another episode of the 125 gallon reef build. What I've got here is just a simple media reactor from Bolt Reef Supply. And then I'm using the Cobalt MJ1200 pump, the hose that comes with the reactor, and then the uh, little wrench that comes with it for tightening it. Pretty simple deal. What I'm going to do is fill it half full of carbon, and the upper half is going to have some phosgard in it, depending on how much I need for um, the amount of gallons I have off to do that calculation. What I'm going to do, I made a couple of brackets here. Um, basically, I'm going to have a setup. I don't even know if I can show this right now. Let's see if we can get this to stand on the carpet. This is going to go into, it's going to bolt here. Then there'll be a space in between the two boards. Kind of like that. And then it'll just slide onto the wall of the sump. The bolts that go through these holes will be what stops it. I'll show it to you once it's installed. All right, so we've got the media in here now. As you can see, there's carbon at the bottom, phosgard at the top. Took about, oh, 210 liters of phosgard for the amount of water I have in the tank. I've also mounted, mounted half of this bracket. I'll go ahead and put it on the sump now and finish mounting it, and then we'll hook up the pump and the hose. All right, so here's the reactor hooked up and running. You can see the reactor is mounted to the inside of my sump there. There's the uh, hose that is, um, the output hose, I should say. We'll put it goes over to here. Down to the MJ1200 pump. You can see it goes back in the corner right there. So that's basically it as far as the reactor goes. Probably the last piece of equipment for now that'll go on here. Um, think about doing an auto dosser and possibly a controller down the line. But if you enjoyed uh, up till now, please continue to watch. I'm going to keep doing updates and possible more episodes if I do add more equipment or when I add fish or corals, things like that. Uh, if you're new to this channel or new to this series, make sure you watch the entire series. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I do do videos on all aspects of uh, the fish keeping hobby that I'm involved with, including freshwater. I do a lot of cichlids and freshwater shrimp. And then I've got a uh, BioCube reef tank as well as this tank. Uh, and I try to do regular updates on all of them. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.